Jim here, Jim's Hot Rods Beyond, Jim's Auto CNR, the real segment of the business, okay? So there is my Ford, 1975 Ford New Holland tractor, 100% complete. I, uh, on the last video, I was waiting for a couple of deliveries. The drive unit came in, the vinyl stickers came in, everything, it's all factory. Brand new shiny, 100% brand new shiny. Uh, every nut and bolt on this has been rebuilt in six weeks. This is, uh, this is truly a piece of art at this point. And yes, it cuts grass because I actually cut the grass with it and uh, actually everybody was watching me because I wanted to see how this deck, it, the deck on this may look awesome, but it's 100% functional, brand new. Okay, this is what I do. Uh, this, this thing came out absolutely awesome. You can see the uh, front headlights are all in, sticker right there. There's a little difference on this sticker right here for anybody that has one of these. The, um, the replacement vinyl stickers, it, it comes with this big sticker, but it's not, it doesn't look like the original. So instead I just left this um, painted and just put the little Ford here. Originally it said Ford across that in uh, I'd say about an inch and a quarter letters. So that's what the new sticker looks like, which is fine. You really can't tell. The uh, tread on this, this is actually a uh, weather guard for, uh, or ice shield for your roofing. It's cheaper to get that uh, material, which is actually the same stuff if you found it. Uh, and this, all you do is you heat it up with a heat gun and you stick it down. And once you stick it down, it's gonna come up. So, this is mint. This is, a, this is it, okay? Let's get to some other projects here. Uh, in the last video, I told you that this car is done. It's 100%. I have uh, basically uh, just some uh, tinkering. Uh, I worked out all the bugs. I had 10 bugs. Other than that, no big deal. All taken care of. Now I got about 30 miles on it. Waiting for my registration plate. There was a lot of people out there in the hot rod industry do not talk about getting a car on the road. On a normal basis, you could go to the DMV. Well, this isn't normal 2020. We got the COV-19, blah, 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 okay? DMVs are shut down until further notice. A lot of procedures uh, in order to get a car like this on the road, you'd have to go through stringent um, inspections, <sighs> VIN checks, templates, and the whole shebang. And uh, that's what nobody talks about. Well. You can see my plate right there. That's that's an original, a mint set of 1926 Connecticut plates, and uh, that's a match set, which is perfectly awesome. I've already checked the DMV with them. They, I'm just waiting for new plates, and I'm gonna I'm leaving these plates on it because it, it is uh, so super awesome uh, having a vintage set or builder's plates of the date of the vehicle. So uh, that's it. I'm gonna take you for a, a uh, joy rod. Uh, keep, keep an eye on further videos for that. This car, uh, this car is just, excuse me, this car is way, way over the top. Uh, it's, it's really bad. So enough of that nonsense, car's mint. Absolutely, it's just awesome. It just came out absolutely awesome. And by the way, that was 12 years in the making. Uh, when I picked the car up from an ad, not a picture, paid cash for it, didn't even know what the car looked like. End of story. That's what I did. So, that's a quick video. On to uh, the next. Have a good day.